Hello YouTube. I just want to make another video here. I've been going around the mountain with false teachers and um, I just want to point a scripture out to you guys. Um, this is John 18.36. It said, Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then my servants would fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. So, you know, Jesus flat said that if, you know, his, his servants would fight for him if his kingdom was from this world. Um, we're doing, a, we're supposed to be doing our best to bring his kingdom, to bring on his kingdom, to build his kingdom here. And um, there's a lot of false teaching going on. And, um, you know, some of, the, some of the false teaching is coming from, you know, what I've considered to be Christian brothers. Um, case in point, Jonathan Clack. I've been following the guy for years and supporting him for years, but he just recently banned me off his channel. <clears throat> and I had to make uh, a video on him and his false uh, serpent seed doctrine. And, um... He sent me an email, actually he sent me three emails, and um, he says, I'm sorry, but your hostility as well as your erroneous position is nothing short of the Pharisees. I have blocked you, but you might want to come listen to the radio program this Wednesday. Peace and grace. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. He's removed all the comments, but I still, I kept my Google Plus up. So here's the comments he's talking about. Um, one of his servant puppet minions following him on this, serp, on this serpent seed doctrine had written in his defense. And I replied, and actually I had to repost my comment a couple of times until I figured out that Jonathan had blocked me because it kept showing up, disappearing, showing up, disappearing, showing up, disappearing. And um, so then then I finally figured, like I said, I finally figured out Jonathan sent me notice. But I said to him, uh, Robert Smith, uh, you twist the scriptures and make them appear to say what you want. Um, yes, we inherited the penalty of sin from our parents, but that is a far cry different from being the offspring of an evil entity. That said, God would never, never, never accept Satan's seed as being legitimate. If Cain were Satan's seed, which he is not, then God would never have told him he would be accepted if he did right. Note, Satan and his offspring can never do right. And this before Christ even arrived to offer atonement for sinners. Also note that God elected to destroy all fallen angel seed in Genesis 6. Thus, if God would have spared Cain of being allegedly Satan's seed, then why would God destroy all of Satan's seed or the fallen angel seed in Genesis 6? Think. <clears throat> Again, Matthew 13 makes it clear, a clear distinction between God's children and our his own. Uh, and or his uncorrupted bloodline versus the corrupted bloodline of Satan slash fallen angels. Envision holding a wheat seedling in one hand or your right hand and uh, a tear seedling in the left hand. Um, they are two different seedlings and to further illustrate this fact his angels will gather and separate the wheat from the tares. Uh, it's as clear as day. And again, if eight fruit equals had sex, which it does not, um, then Adam had sex with Satan too. And that would have made him bisexual. Do you really believe Adam was bisexual? I mean, really. Now show me in the Bible where it says same. You can't. As eating 
fruit is a lot different a different than doing the hanky panky okay so you know I've and then this this other lady uh, did a video and, and I gotta give Jonathan credit on some stuff and part of the thing that intrigued, intrigued me about him for years now is his ability to look at pictures and logos and things like that and see hidden meanings. I mean, you got to give credit where credit's due. He has a gift in that area. Exactly where that gift comes from, at this point, I can't say. Um, but I commented on this video that this C. Irvana 2 did on Macy's uh, Thanksgiving Parade 2015. You see it here on the screen. Satanic nu nuclear bomb. Um, New York City float, sublimable. Uh, and I just made a comment. I said, Jonathan's ability to see things is indeed truly amazing. But there is a dark side to Jonathan. He actually believes that Eve had sex with Satan and we are all the offspring of same. He also believes that we are fallen angels in human bodies. I kid you not. And that Cain was the child of Satan and Eve. Be very careful as he refuses to see the truth and will ban you for sharing same. So, um, then I go to another browser and I look it up and, uh, you know, my comment. And guess what? It's not here. Looks like she's already removed it. Okay, it's not here. Three weeks ago, blah, blah, blah. Not here. Okay, so then I'll go to <clears throat> newest comment. Because I just made this comment a few hours back. It's not here. So, what I want to talk to you guys about is I did a video about 11 months ago now called We're Being Invaded. And I warned you that a lot of people that you know you know on a daily basis could be family members, could even be spouse, could be uh, your employer, could be some friends. I actually believe these people are becoming demonically possessed. Okay, um, because you know you. People are just changing. They just change. Sometimes, in some cases, they just get change overnight. Like you don't even recognize them, which this video uh, goes into depth. And so I'm wondering if we're having a problem even here on YouTube. Some of our Christian brothers and sisters just falling so far off, you know, the path that uh, they're actually being controlled by demonic entities. And I'm really wondering about Jonathan at this point. Um, he recently did a video, he says, look at the skin sin we're in, and this is, uh, you know, a video that he did, and he's trying to convince us that we are children of the serpent. I kid you not. And I still have, you know, this, this exchange going on that I did with some people on his channel. And um, uh, and you know, there's nothing hostile here. I mean, I, I was stern in some of my comments, like you know, you read the scriptures. What does the scripture say? What does the scripture say? So let's get into this uh, serpent seed line for just a minute. <clears throat> And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees, plural, of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, singular, in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Well, actually, you know, Eve was lying a little bit there because God didn't say don't touch it. He said don't eat of it. <clears throat> so, then it goes down, and it says that when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, not sex, food, 
that it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree and a tree to be desired to make one wise she took of the fruit thereof and she did eat and she also gave to her husband to eat and he did eat okay that's important she gave it to her husband and he did eat too of the tree for food okay good for food keep it stay tuned okay um, then the Lord can walk into the garden and call to Adam and um, the Lord said uh, who told thee that thou was naked hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldn't eat should not eat and the man said the woman which thou gavest to be with me she gave me of the tree and I did eat. And the Lord said to the woman, What is this thou hast done? And the woman said, the, Satan, the serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Okay? Remember that. The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Eat. Didn't say had sex. Okay? And it goes down to Genesis 4.1. It says, And Adam knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Okay, a little bit further um, down, talking about the the offerings between uh, of uh, Cain and Abel to the Lord. Uh, it says, but uh, unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. Talking about the Lord not having respect for Cain's offering it, and Cain was very wroth. And his countenance fell, and the Lord said to Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou dost well, shall thou not be acceptant? accepted? Again, if thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou not doest well, sin lieth at the door lieth at the door hadn't entered him yet but it lieth at the door okay and it says and until thee shall be his desire and thou shalt rule over him and Cain talked with his brother Abel and it came to pass that when they were in the field Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him okay then these guys get uh, okay well let me continue and Cain went out of the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod and on the east of Eden and Cain knew his wife and she conceived and bare Enoch now going back to Genesis 4 1 Adam knew his wife Eve and she conceived and bare Cain now, Jonathan and, and all these other serpent seed doctrine people will say, well, you know, Satan had sex with Eve and she bare Cain. That's, that's not what that says. It's the same, same verbiage here. And Cain knew his wife and she conceived and bare Enoch. Okay? So, um... Now, beguiled, let's talk a little bit about beguiled, because Jonathan is not being honest with this word, beguiled, okay? Beguiled could mean sexual uh, seduction or be seduced, but it can also mean to be conceived. Uh, deceived, which is in my other video, which you know you can just simply look up in Strong's. Um, so I've got Strong's here, <clears throat> and um, we'll just take a quick look at it. Okay. So it says a primitive root to lead astray, that is, mentally to delude, or morally to seduce, beguile, deceive, x greatly, x utterly, okay? 
So it's not conclusive that it's seduced morally. Okay? Now, um, let me take a look here at something. If we go to Second Corinthians, eleven, three. Paul is talking, and he says, But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Okay, so what is Paul suggesting here? That, um, you know, Satan's going to have sex with all, all these people? No. Okay. So, you know, beguiled, beguiled, um, basically it just means deceived. And if you look it up, uh, again, uh, do a quick word search. Okay. So, if we look up Genesis 3.13, again, it says, And the Lord said unto the woman, What is this thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Okay? Now, that's the King James. But look at the other versions here. Um, NIV, which I'm not really in love with. Instead of beguiled, it replaced it with deceived. A new living translation instead of beguiled it re re replaced it with deceived um, English standard version instead of beguiled it re replaced it with deceived and on and on and on down the list uh, Holman Christian version uh, international standard version it says uh, misled me misled is a long way from seduced so, I think it's pretty clear that um, Satan did not have sex with Eve, and Genesis 4.1 is pretty clear that it says that um, um, Adam knew his wife Eve, and um, she conceived and bore Cain. Okay? So this serpent seed doctrine is a bunch of hokey, hooky, hokey, hokey stuff. And um, the point I want to make here is we've got a bunch of false teachers online now completely and totally perverting the, doc the doctrine of the scriptures. A lot of things that they say are true and accurate, but a lot of things that they say aren't. So what, what I'm saying here is don't let your guard down and, and relax because someone has spoken truth for perhaps long periods of time because, you know, they can start getting off track off of due north. And, um, you know, if you don't have your armor on uh, and you're not tuned into the spirit, and you're not studying the scriptures yourself, you can easily follow these guys right into the ditch. And that's exactly where I think some of these people are going. Here's another one right here. Uh, this guy is one of the biggest liars uh, that I know of on YouTube as well. He called, He's a black Hebrew Israelite. And I put a lot of heat on him. A lot of heat. And um, he badmouths Christians left and right. And he lumps Christians in with Catholics and you know, he claims that all the Christian doctrine is Catholic doctrine, which, you know, Christians were around 
long before Catholics were, because Constantine started Catholicism in something like 318 AD, but yet they were called Christians in Antioch long before Constantine. So, um, but I've gone around and around a mountain on this. I mean, this this guy actually identifies with uh, uh, Louis Farrakhan. And he, I, I've done videos on it. So if you guys want to know about another false teacher, by all means, you know, look at my channel, look him up. But I'm really, really concerned about the body of Christ. I'm really, really concerned about, uh, you know, guys like this guy, Pastor Dow. And I'm really concerned about my friend and brother, who just banned me from his channel for telling the truth because I wasn't hostile. I was firm. Uh, you know, I was saying, no, that's not, you know, what the Bible says. This is what the Bible says. And I guess if that's hostile, you know, I, I guess I'm guilty. Color me guilty. I'm hostile. Yet Jesus said, you know, his followers would fight for him. So that's what I'm doing. I'm fighting for him. And so that makes me a bad guy or offend some of you guys. That's just the way it is, too bad. And, um, but, so I actually encourage you guys to do a little fighting of your own because we're getting run over. Uh, we got leaders that are allowing uh, the enemy to come in the country. The borders are wide open. They're importing uh, all these refugees in from other countries and they're sucking our economy that's already dry, even drier, and it's fixing to hit the fan in the U.S., and I've been trying to stop, you know, do, doing what I could do to stop a race war, because I guarantee you a race war is coming. Like this guy here, all he does is, you know, every time a, uh, you know, cop, the cops, usually white cops, kill a black dude, he does a big video of it. But when 17 black dudes rape a, a white girl and burn her, uh, then, you know, I mean, there's no video of that. So these guys are stacking the deck, and they're hiding behind the word uh, to do it. And um, most of you guys are so asleep, you can't see it. And um, I'm beginning to wonder if you even want to hear it. I, I think what's happening is um, so many of these false teachers have been talking about a pre-trib rapture, that you guys are actually buying into it. And that you think, well, oh, well, I'm not going to have to deal with it because the Lord's going to come and snatch me out of here any old day. And uh, like Jonathan says, when the bombs come down, we go up. Well, yeah, when the bombs come down, we're vaporized. we got nowhere else to go. <laughs> so, you know, I guess we will be going up. But, um, you know, my Bible tells me that we're not going anywhere in the last day at the last Trump. So, but that's another video. But anyway, uh, I'm doing my best and uh, to wake as many people up. And, you know, Jonathan sent me a comment. He says, why do you have a PayPal link on your uh, uh, YouTube channel? I says, well, could it be because people actually have asked me to, you know, they'd like to donate to my uh, ministry and they want to know how to do it. And since I'm in the Philippines, uh, you know, it kind of makes it a lot easier to, you know, get funds like that. I mean, like, you know, he hasn't received donations or he hasn't asked for donations. So the guy's just, I'm really concerned about him, okay? So if you guys are concerned about him and you appreciate him, do me a favor and, and, and you know, try and bring this guy in. Because though he has some gifts uh, on being able to see signs and, you know, read things, not everything he says is true. And um, definitely the certain serpent's seed doctrine is, is not true, which I just proved to you. And also, I mean, it's just total insanity to think that we are the embodiment of fallen angels. You know, fallen angels cannot receive salvation. We can. Enough said. Okay. We're fallen, but we're not fallen angels, okay? Love you guys, and take care, and I appreciate your support. All you guys, all my friends out there, thank you. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And um, if I can do anything at all in the world for you, let me know. I'll do my very best. Thank you now. Take care.
Bye-bye.